So I'm excited to demo a retool application built by the Common Bond Ops team, along with the story of why retool was a game changer for us. And hopefully this example will be interesting for ops folks, but also for people in product and tech as well. We have about five minutes, so let's dive in. So first I'd like to share a few concepts that I believe have proven to be true at Common Bond and that I imagine will be useful elsewhere. The first is that ops people tend to understand tooling and workflows really well. They typically understand the requirements behind what they do all day at a very high level of detail. And they tend to be passionate about improving their workflows rather than just doing things the same way over a long period of time. Another relevant concept in my experience is that the ideas for improving workflows are often pretty simple from a technical perspective. At startups and growing companies, there's a lot of low hanging fruit in terms of potential improvements in the back office because everything is so new. And uh, with a combination of joins, upserts, text manipulation, and basic math and logic, you can deliver the majority of ideas that an ops team comes up with. All of these technical concepts are taught at the entry level when you're learning to code. So these asks uh, typically are, aren't really rocket science. There's, I think, a very natural sort of impasse that can happen around these ideas from ops, given that in many cases, product and tech teams need to prioritize strategic initiatives, such as products and new features for, such as new products and features for customers uh, over back office, back office improvements oriented towards the staff. And this can create a feeling of stagnation for ops teams. And certainly at Common Bond, we spent a good amount of time thinking about how we could keep things evolving on ops and break through that impasse. So when we first saw Retool in 2018, we understood the potential immediately. A few of us knew SQL already, so we started building apps. And uh, once we started having success there, we created space for other interested team members to get basic programming skills via free platforms such as Udacity. There are some really excellent educational resources available today to teach basic programming skills in a very low cost or free and uh, at your own pace and just generally very effective way. Um, we also had, we were fortunate to have a lot of support from uh, the senior management team at Common Bond and they allowed us to do something called CB University where we sort of drafted technical experts from the tech team to give classes for people who were interested. Honestly, we actually saw basically immediate success with this approach and we doubled down on it several times. And two years later, we're using over 100 retool applications on a regular basis. So it really has had a pretty uh, massive influence on the way things are done in the back office. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about the app that I'll actually demo. Application I'd like to show you was intended to overhaul a workflow for reviewing forbearance requests. Uh, our borrowers have the ability to pause their payments if they undergo financial hardship, but there are some requirements around that that need to be, and so cases need to be reviewed by human beings. Uh, the before state of this workflow is what I would describe as kind of like a, a classic sort of rapid scaling company manual workflow situation. The workflow is being managed in JIRA, which is you know generally not seen as like sort of an operational workflow uh, product there, uh, and actually I'll, I'll show you kind of a, a screenshot of one of these JIRA cards. Um, there were, you know, there's a ton of manual input required. All the red asterisks that you can see here represent manual inputs. And basically what our people were doing is co was copying and pasting data from three different platforms. It was not a very fun workflow to be in, and it was also very error prone. So this was a workflow that we identified early on as something that was ripe for improvement. What I'll do now is take you into the retool application that we're demoing. This was built entirely by uh, one person on the ops team. And what we have on this first screen here is uh, a queue representing incoming forbearance requests. So this is a quick and easy way for an ops person to see the status of the workflow and select a task to do. So we can go ahead and click on one to select and then go to view to focus in a bit. Uh, this is the main screen where most of the work is done on this application. And the primary value add that I'd like to call out is that this application synthesizes information from three data sources using SQL so that a human user can make a decision quickly and easily. Buttons make it easy to change the status of a request. And Retool facilitates modularity, so it's very easy to update the application as time goes by. For example, we, up, we added this little survey module here so that we could in a very streamlined and easy way, uh, collect data from our borrowers that helps us kind of like model out uh, performance of, of the credit over time. 
that's, that's really it. I mean, this is very simple to do technically. We're just, you know, showing information and it all together, but there was a huge uh, impact. It saved a lot of time. Ultimately, two full-time employees were, were spending most of their time in the um, original workflow. And with this application, we were able to reduce the processing time from 30 minutes per forbearance request to two minutes. So we basically uh, changed this from a significant workflow that needed to be managed to something that one person in a few minutes a day can handle themselves. So definitely a nice impact. Um, just to say a few more things to conclude here, the magic of Retool for the Common Bond Ops team is that it allows us to leverage basic technical skills by abstracting away a lot of the tedium of building applications such as runtime environments and the front end. We can really focus on the concepts that we're looking to achieve. And most of those concepts are achievable with just basic like short SQL statements. And so Retool really supports that. Um, I do want to call out that an investment is required to make this particular sort of ops-centric approach to Retool work. Um, you'll need to create some space for people to skill up some support is required from technical experts. We found that pairing ops people with a technical mentor and then time boxing the uh, commitment from the technical mentor worked really well, struck a good balance between the ops people learning and solving for themselves, but also not getting too bogged down. And then finally, um, you need to be very thoughtful about technical guardrails to ensure security and reduce the risk of breaking things. So those are what I would say are, are kind of the investments required. Um, but the yield for us has, has been very good. We've, we've been really happy with this approach. It's been a great development path for ops people. We've actually had several people transition into technical roles as a result of their work with Retool. Crucially, Retool freed up our tech and product teams to focus on strategic initiatives rather than fielding requests from ops to overhaul things in the back office. Um, and yeah, I hope this was an interesting story for folks.